Hello, my people from around the world. And once again, I'm from my secret location in Bangkok. So, um, I'm trying to tell people that I am a regular on this YouTube thing. I am a real person. And uh, somebody gave me a message the other day, and a lot of people are asking me questions of where have I been, how come I haven't been on this thing like I used to. It's because I'm trying to make it to a thousand videos, and I'm real close. I don't want my thousandth video to be some willy-nilly video, me contemplating and con talking about, uh, conversating about uh, world events. I want to produce the thousandth video. I don't want to run into it or fall into it. And if you really do your math, I'm past a thousand already anyway, so it doesn't matter. But the official one thousandth video, I want it to look like a one thousandth video. I want to actually spend some money with you to to get this video, and what's the word I want to use? Uh, pushed. Pushed. So, um, we all know that I filmed a movie earlier this summer before my guitar player left. We filmed the entire movie. I remixed it and remixed it, and I lost the sound. The sound is screwed up, so I got to go through and do things over and over again. I got six more Las Vegas videos, four or five, maybe five Las Vegas videos left before I finish that. And there's a couple of scenes where I let you see the luggage getting beat up before it gets on the airplane. What I'm trying to say is this. I do so much of nothing that I do too much of a little. It may be too much for me to be doing in a day or two. In other words, I'm slow, I'm lazy, and I'm tired. I'm at, I'm at home now. I don't go nowhere. I don't even leave the house anymore. Yes. I stay my ass in the house. Um, remember after I was tasered and all that crap and da-da-da, blah, blah, blah. Remember the traffic ticket I had before that? They prevented me from getting a ticket written off. That ticket is over $1,000 now. I will not become a slave. I will not be forced into debt servitude. I will stand firm, and I will be who I am and who I've always been. So when I look back over the, the year, you know, 09, when I look back at 09, 09 was full of shit. Oh, 10, it started off crappy, but it's other than that, it's pretty good. My eye is itching, though. So, um, I know I've, I've bounced around the place and I do a whole bunch of things. I miss you too, Australia. Um, I talk to my people from all around the world. I miss Chai Global. I don't know what the hell's happened to him, but the last time I spoke to him, he was doing fine. And I know I told you I would do this Chai Global, but my computer was out and I didn't. He's fine. The last I heard from him was like a month ago, two months ago. He's fine. My son, Ren. I love you, Ren. I know he's out there. He's watching. He's always watching. Uh, my nephew, uh, I love him to death, too. You know, Mr. Hitchcock, I've been watching lately because I've been all over the place. And the great Capri, and, you know, Mr. Father Judgment, and, uh, J. Ryder Ford. Who dat? My girl, London, Canada. Um, I mean, Mr. Third Ward, he'll be back soon. Uh, Daily Apple. Uh, there's, there's a million different things I want to do. There's all kind of projects I'm working on. Uh, I'm taking your pictures, too. Everybody who subscribed to me, I've been taking your pictures. I've been going to your, uh, your page. I've been taking your pictures off your page. I am working on a project, but when I put it in my computer... When I do it myself, when I edit the whole video myself, just with the pictures alone, it comes up to like 48 minutes. Just a snapshot. Just that little picture that when you do your video, how they pick the worst picture of you. As the, you know. And then I take that picture and I'm going to remix it. That's one of the videos I was going to do. But before my thousands video, there will be a build-up. You'll see the video, and then I'll be back to normal. I'm having some problems with this uh, eBay thing again. Um, uh, you guys all know about my JVC camera here. I rock the JVC. This is the best way I do it. This is just the only one I'll use, you know, for quick stuff. 
and then this uh the adapted uh <laughs> remember how we went from the, the little stick you know with the web camera on it we went from that to a tripod modified to ocular po I, I, I forgot the name but opti uh, whatever the tripod has been modified and uh, I'm gonna build a harness so you know you can hold it like this you got the screen right here you know where you can actually see what you're filming and I can interview somebody without even you know you can have them sit next to me and interview us both camera like this oh well I ordered another one of these because when I came back from Vegas I couldn't find my camera so I bought one off eBay and right at the end anybody knows anything about eBay is when you're outbid you're outbid but within minutes of me being outbid and it was within the last five hours of the auction you cannot retract your bid I did not want to pay for a camera that was faulty so I'm going through that shit right now because I am honest if I ask you for something I'm going to pay for it but if I think you're trying to get me and it's funny something wrong with what the hell you doing I am going to strike back and that's what I'm about to do I'm about to put a cancel on this motherfucking payment because you know think about it two cameras is cool because that's how I rock I got two cameras studio let me get that I got two closed circuit TV cameras high grade cameras that will be mounted on different sides of the studio that way, once I get a new guitar player and some more bandmates, you know, I will be able to have cameras all over the room. Then I can just take this video and manipulate it any way I want to without having to have a camera set in front of us and have a camera set and move the camera over there or having somebody actually film it with one camera. You can't do that. Four different angles is what I'm going to have once the studio's up. Two hardwired cameras. And two mobile cameras, blah blah blah. I am doing things with nothing, and I don't care if you like it or not. I'm still gonna try to do my best. Um, I have a friend of mine who did a few interviews with me. Um, he's sitting down, and we're going to begin to work on the second film, uh, which is going to be more story driven than me in a musical. Oh, I don't want to give away too much from the first movie, which is the musical. So, listen. I'm sorry that you don't have your constant dose of X. I'm sorry. But, um, too much of me is too much for some. A lot of people don't like me. You see, I haven't busted a thousand, um, subscribers yet. I lose subscribers. I will say something you like on Friday and say something you hate on Monday. Then draw you back in on Wednesday just to let you down again on Thursday night. And you'll call back Friday morning and I'll finish you off and you'll be done with me. I lose subscribers because people can't understand my willingness to be completely open-minded. Today I can be a Republican, tomorrow I can be a Democrat, but throughout the course of my life I will always be the real. Because... You might like sugar on Sunday, but you don't actually want it on your cereal Monday morning. People change constantly. People evolve, adapt. People become better people just by relaxing and enjoying new people or other people or just some people in general. What I'm trying to say, everybody, is this. I'm busy to try to do something for you not me because I can care less but if I start all these projects I have to finish them eventually I have to finish them eventually you will get to New Year's on the Vegas and you get to see all the fireworks I take then you get to see the drama then you get to see <laughs> I can't leave it all up but um, we have a lot of good things coming have patience with me and um, somebody asked me why am I so real on my videos? It's because it's in the title of my name. And you've been too.